Here's an overview of my fairly simple propane gas forge burner that I built today. It's made out of normal common materials that you can pick up at your local big box store or hardware store, wherever you live. Uh, gonna get ready to try it out here in a second. I watched several YouTube videos and they worked really well. I came up with this one. It's just like some of the others with just a few modifications that I made. Um, some of the ones that I'd seen had actually had uh, covers over the inlet where the air flows in. It's just uh, 1 8 inch brass tubing threaded on each end with a cap on this end and then a T and then it comes over and feeds the other burner on this side and then it just tees off to the gas source, the gas supply and then that's a fairly simple setup. You just have to get the right fittings and then I found this uh, closing out into season high pressure gas valve and hose actually that works really well just comes down here and hooks up to my small propane tank and it's got its own on off switch and a high pressure regulator and the forge is in the process I'm working on that I'll do the finished project when that's done but it's really simple these are just inch and a quarter inch and a quarter by three quarter bell reducers and then I measured the size of the 1 8 inch brass tubing and it was a oh uh, I forgot exactly I don't want to tell you wrong I think it was a 17 30 second or 27 30 second uh, hole I had to drill it's a nice snug fit uh, one of the videos I watched they actually uh, welded used uh, black iron and then welded the pipe in place. I chose to drill and tap a uh, small set screw. It just has an Allen head on it. There's a small set screw that secures both tubes in place so they don't move on the pipe either direction. And then on the other side of the pipe that you can't see, you might be able to see it, there's a 0.023 MIG tip that's drilled and tapped on the other side of the 1 8 inch brass tubing that's uh, screwed into the pipe that centers and points directly down the burn tube and that's six inches long it's a six inch three quarter pipe and then attached to the six inch three quarter pipe is a one inch three quarter bell reducer all black iron I watched one video where a fella used galvanized and he had to soak it in vinegar or something maybe they have a tough time getting their black iron without galvanized on it but I was able to source this between the box stores and a local plumbing store and again it's just uh, really simple eighth inch caps the plan was actually to put a door over that that was adjustable and I drilled and tapped a quarter inch 20 thread per inch hole in the end of the bell reducer and the plan was to put threaded rod and then red loctite it and then put the little cover over it that was the same shape the round the same size and then I had purchased wing nuts that I was gonna Put on there so I could adjust the airflow. That's something I may still do. I, I don't know that I need to though. Turn it on for just one quick second. It it really worked well. So I used the yellow stuff I had laying around for the fittings. Uh, didn't want the gas to get out of there before it got to the orifice, which again is the .023 MIG tip. That tip is a, a quarter inch by 28. Uh, thread 
So if anybody wants to know, they'll at least the Miller tip. Miller goes with my Miller Matic 215 right there, whatever it's called. Let's uh let's fire this thing up. Grab the grab the torch. Light it and see how it goes. I turn it on once. Let's see what happens here. Let's turn the valve on. Should be able to hear gas flow really quick. Just that fast. May need some adjustment in airflow. I don't know. If I turn this valve here all the way up, it looks like we may need to make a few adjustments. That one's running really well. It could be something blocked too. When I had to cut part of the ends off the Threads on the MIG tip. The hole got a little small, and I thought I got it opened up far enough, but maybe not. That one really burns nice. Uh, I don't know if putting a damper on these would make a big difference. I don't know. In the comment section, maybe somebody could let me know. I can back that one down. I think it's going to depend on the flame when I heat treat. That's mainly what I'm going to use this for when I make my knives. Uh, I just heat treat old one full steel. I haven't really gotten into the stainless and stuff yet. But boy, it, it cooks. It, that'll definitely get it up to heat treat temperature. Turn it off here. It'll definitely get it up to heat treat temperature with no problem. Uh, I have to do a little adjustment and find out why that one's not working quite the same, but probably the tip, probably the orifice is a little bit uh, clogged. I should have blown it out the other direction before I set it up. That's the only second time I even started it. So we get the forge done. Here's the propane cylinder that uh, I'm working on right now for the for the forge. I just got it uh, cut open and uh, haven't done much else with it. But uh, get the stuff here, maybe tomorrow. Good night everybody, have a good weekend.